it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey everyone, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks, and in this video, I want to walk you through how to add and subtract like terms in algebra. This is one of the foundations of algebra. It's a crucial skill, so let's see how it works. Say I asked you to simplify the first question here, 5a plus 14b minus 3a minus b plus 7. Well, what you want to do here is add and subtract the like terms. So the a's are going to go together, the b's are going to go together, and if there's numbers on their own without a letter, they're all going to go together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this expression and put like terms together. So you can see I've got a 5a minus 3a, so I'm going to write those beside each other, 5a minus 3a. And then after that, I've got the b's. I'm going to put the plus 14b minus the other b beside each other. And then at the end of the line, you can see I've got a plus 7. So that's a constant on its own. A number with no letter is a constant. So the constant there at the end is 7. So that's going to tag along at the end. And now all I do is add and subtract the like ones. So I've got 5a take away 3a, which is 2a. And then I have 14b take away b, which is just take away 1b. So I have 14b take away 1b, which is 13b. So I've got a positive 13b there. And I have a plus 7 on its own at the end. So the constant there is 7. And that's the job done here. We can't combine this any further because we've a's together. There's two of them. There's 13b's and there's 7 at the end. This cannot be combined because a's are a's, b's are b's, and constants are constants. On to the next, let's take a look. We have 4x plus 9y plus 3x minus y plus 4x squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out who's going to go together. So I'm going to put the 4x and the 3x together because they're both x's. I'm going to put the 9y and the minus y together. So I have plus 9y minus y. And I've got an x squared term. So I'll put the plus 4x squared here at the end. Now x squared and x are different because x is x. And an x squared is an x squared. They're not the exact same thing. They're similar, but they're not the same. So they're treated totally different. So now I just tidy up. I'm going to put my 4x plus 3x together to give me 7x. And then I have my plus 9y minus y to give me plus 8y. And then I have plus 4x squared tagging along there at the end. So again, x squared and x are two different entities. So we treat them as such. Next up, I have 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus 6x plus x squared minus 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group together the x squared terms, I'm going to group together the x terms, and then I'll group together the constants. So let's put the x squareds first here. Typically, we should try to put the x squared first. I know in my last one I didn't, but in this one we will. We'll put the x squared terms at the start. So I'm going to get my 5x squared plus x squared. Then moving on to the x's and make sure you keep the sign in front of them. I've got minus 3x and minus 6x coming along next. And for the constants at the end, I have plus 4 and I have minus 8. So being very careful there, keeping the original sign in front of each number. And now we can tidy up. I have 5x squared plus x squared, which gives me 6x squared. I have minus 3x minus 6x, which is going to give me minus 9x. And then I have plus 4 take away 8, which is minus 4. And that's the job done here. We get 6x squared minus 9x minus 4. We can't tidy up any further. Let's go once more here. I have 4a minus 3b plus 10 minus 5a plus 6b minus 3. So I'm going to put the a's all together at the start. I'm getting 4a minus 5a. I'm putting the b's together. I've got minus 3b plus 6b. And then I'm putting the constants at the end, the plus 10 minus 3. So I've got my 4a minus 5a, which is minus 1a, which I can just call minus a. Then I've minus 3b plus 6b which gives me plus 3b. And then I have plus 10 minus 3, which is plus 7. And this here is my answer. So folks, what do we do to collect like terms? We can rearrange it and put the like terms together, the a's, the b's, and the constants, or the x's, and the x squareds, and whatever all together. And then we just tidy up accordingly. Make sure you bring your sign with you if and when you rearrange, and that you carefully add and subtract the terms. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.